Hello everyone and welcome back to our farm here again today. So today's job now is just going to be resalting. So we have to do this indoor. We'd never do it outdoor because we only use salt indoor. It kind of acts as our electric fence indoors. So the problem with salt is when you keep water and water inside, the salt will start to disappear. So we always have to come back and resalt it. So we'll just show you is now here. So all these grooves that we would have here going along we we'll put salt into as you can see now it's fairly fading away and that's it so once you put salt in all the way around here it'll stop the snails from coming out because they'll come up to it touch the salt taste salt and won't go any further so they'll come back into their pins so it is just electric fence indoors really so we'll get that resalted now today and once that's done then, the snails will have their own little pin. With, you can see the green is coming up. We have that replanted now inside. So we'll get that to come up a few more inches now before we start putting snails really back into it. So that's today's job. Let's get going. like this you would only ever salt indoors you could never use salt really outdoors especially in our climate where we get an awful lot of rain and when you use salt outdoors it would just wash away in a couple of days so it works a lot better indoors and you get a lot longer out of it indoors and it's a brilliant trick and it works brilliant as a fence to keep snails in their pins because otherwise they would just go all out and up and go everywhere and you really need to kind of keep them where they have food and where they have everything just for themselves to be happy and not have them wandering too much. probably have to do this I'd say coming up to every four weeks because the salt will only last about that amount of time when you're watering inside so probably every four weeks that you'll come and just have to re resalt all the way along
as we can see, this is a short road done now. We have longer roads to go, but I'll speed that one up just so it doesn't take as long to see. So when you have it done, it'll all look like that. So when snails are in here and they're coming up, they'll come up, they'll touch the salt, taste salt, and won't go any further, and they'll end up just going back down. So it's a brilliant way of keeping snails in their pin where all their food is. So we'll just speed this up now, so we'll do it quicker and you'll get to see it then when it's all finished. a little bit in cleaner and a, a, a bit in tidier now when you have this done and you have it all looking like this all the way along So the salt we use here on our farm is actually water softener salt. And as far as I know, you can get it in most DIY shops around the country. And it's just used in well water to take out the lime scale and hard water. So it's very, actually, it's very light and salt. Is what it looks like here. And that's what we use. You can't you can't use pure salt or clean salt or even table salt that you eat your dinner with when you sprinkle salt on food because that's way too strong in salt and if you use a pure salt it'll harm even kill snails because salt is the enemy of a snail so that's why we use the water softener salt because it has less actual salt in it so that they'll taste it but it won't actually do them any harm but the stronger salt you use the more harm you can do. And in our farm here, harming them or hurting them is the last thing that we ever, ever want to do. So we're very careful of what salt we use and how it works with them, just to keep snails as safe as possible. So that's just the salt that we use in our farm and it works so far. But heavy salt, hard salt, pure salts won't work with snails because you'll do more damage than good. And for everyone looking to keep up to date on everything that we do here on our farm, just hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell beside it. That way any new videos we put up, you'll be the first ones to know when they go up. So we have this pin now here done and complete. All the salt's going all the way around. It's planted now, we're just waiting for this green here to start coming up a few inches. But this pin now here is complete. So once we have that one done down, then the next job for us is to do the same with this pin here. 
but we'll clear this off, clean off everything, resalt and replant and we get all this up now as well. So we're getting there and by using your salt it'll stop this from happening. This fella here has decided to come out of his pin, come over because we've no salt left and here he is on the way out. So that's why salting is important. So we're soon going to be coming into a quiet time here on our farm because we're coming into winter. So snails will start to hibernate for the next few weeks when the cold snaps come in. So the workload in the farm is going to be that bit lighter. So during the quiet time, if there's anything that you want me to cover, any aspects of snail farming that you'd like me to cover, just write them in a comment down below and I'll go through them. And if we can make a video on it, we will. And we'll try and explain that bit more about what happens and how it happens on a snail farm. So we'll wrap up this video now here for today. Thanks a million for watching. We'll be back again soon with another video of some other aspect of work that we're doing here in the farm. Uh, thanks for everyone for keep coming back. I like the little community that we seem to have built up here from all over the world. It's nice. So thanks a million for everyone that keeps coming back and watching the videos. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. See you soon.